I want to look at a few other areas in this financial management piece with the general ledger and so on and so forth. I want to look at accounts receivable. Now we've already looked at the age accounts receivable report, but I want to run this for a specific customer, this one, because I just received a check from this um, customer to pay some of their invoices. So I want to take a look at their overall aging here. And we're going to be paying this $1,600 invoice, the $458 and the $2,400. So their current balance out here right now is $71,145.23. And uh, so I just wanted to review that quite quickly. What we're going to do is go to a cash receipts journal. And I'm going to enter in a new journal here. It's going to be a payment. And this is going to be from a customer. And the account number is going to be 2000. And uh, that's my customer. And they're going to be paying us. And I enter this in as a negative amount because we're going to be reducing the accounts receivable. So I'm entering in the amount of this check. And on the check, uh, I'm going to be depositing this into a bank account. And the bank is going to be the Giro Bank. So I've entered this in and on their check stub, they're telling me what invoices they're paying. So I simply go up to apply entries and I look and the first one that they want to pay is this $1,600 invoice. And then they want to pay the next one and then they want to pay the next one. And so they're paying these invoices. And if you look down here, it says the applied amount and the amount available. If I go up to this and I delete this, for example, and tab off this. Now I've only applied 2127 uh, out of the 4500s, which means I still have uh, an remaining, a remaining amount to apply here. So I'm going to go in and apply this. And now look, the balance is zero. Applied and available all match. So we've uh, we've applied this to the invoices that we want to pay. I'm going to go up to the top of this, and uh, I'm going to run a test report just because uh, I want to show you how this works. And the test report basically says it's going to reduce my receivables up here by the 4556. It's going to increase my cash balance in the bank. So that's going to go up. So everything actually looks good here. So I'm uh, finished applying this money. I'm going to go up. I can either post and print, or I can simply post these transactions. And... The journal lines are successfully posted. Everything should have applied to my customer now. So if I go back out and I run my aged accounts receivable for this customer again, now their balance is reduced down to 66588 So those invoices that we were showing before have now all been paid.